Hey guys, welcome, welcome, welcome to another episode of the Grapevine Podcast. Yes, guys, welcome. I'm Shell, and I'm Self. And we dare, we dare, <laughs> on new vibes, new settings, and all that good stuff. You know how we stay. We like to keep it fresh. Yeah, man. Always moving around. You never know what you're going to get with us, mm-hmm. eh, guys? <laughs> Look who we got in the house, guys. We've got some special guests here. Good day. Hey, everybody. How you doing? Sisters How you talk doing? about podcasts are in the house. Yes. <laughs> Representing. Everybody's got wrecking. our uniforms. Oh, yeah. We're unified. We're unified. <laughs> Sisters United. Yes. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's it, man. I think we could call the episode that Sisters yeah. United. Yeah, that's true. That is true. That is true. That is true. It's because of the subject as yeah. well. Yeah. 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 Sisters exactly. United. Exactly. Sisters Tell United. them your names, guys. I am Naomi. And I'm Fiona. And where are you lovely ladies from? Originally from Nottingham, but I've yes, now been got living... Yes, we've got North and Yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but I've been living in London now for 10 years. <clears throat> yeah. Oh, nice. I'm based in Nottingham. I used to be based in London. Mm-hmm. But then so I on moved... a swap. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I moved, moved back home. <laughs> uh, I understand that still. How do you, you find the London life? When I was here, it was good. It gave me what I needed. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know? Um, but yeah, a few years ago... I was just like, I've had enough. Yeah. I wasn't happy. And I was like, I need a change. Yeah. And then I moved to Belgium. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah. Are these jobs? Is it because of a job or? Or because of man? Is it because I love? <laughs> love. No. I love, no. love, no. Our love our money. Love our money. Yeah. <laughs> well, better both. No, it was nothing to do with relationships or man or anything. It was just lifestyle and way of life I was like there's more for me to do okay and I didn't feel like I was reaching it at that point so I was like you know what let me just bounce now yeah make as much money as I need to bounce Mm. and then yeah if I need to be here you know I'll travel for work yeah yeah I was just like wherever I'm living that's not gonna have a impact on impact on where I work or what I work on Mm. like somebody wants to work with me doesn't matter where I'm living so okay just as curiosity what do you do yes well, <laughs> um, I'm a fashion stylist, a lecturer, and then also recently I became a birth and postnatal dealer. Oh, lord, I'm wow. gonna say, I type such things like one. Yeah. <laughs> and then obviously with the podcasting as well. So, yeah, a few nice, things, but yeah. That's good. I've never, I've never met a doula before. Mm. No, no. Ever. no, no, but I've always been kind of like intrigued about you know what they're doing. I remember saying, um, on the radio. A while back now, do you remember after me saying yeah. that? Um, I've noticed that Erica Badu was doing it. Yeah, yes. yeah, yes. and that intrigued me. I was like, yeah, oh. yeah, yeah, we did talk. She about trained. It. Um, she's a doula and also a midwife. Mm. She trained to become a midwife as also. well. Yeah, oh, yeah, nice. yeah. That's nice. <clears throat> it's something mm. different, isn't it? Mm. Mm. At this point in your life, I think you appreciate it in a different yeah. way. I yeah. think finding out mm. that Erica Badu was a doula. That encouraged me even more oh, so. Yeah. Because she's a because like my background, I'm creative. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And she's creative. Mm-hmm. So because yeah. at first I was like, oh, I'm not sure if people are gonna understand. And I was like, if Erica Badu can do it and she's a Ain't nobody gonna yeah. understand. <laughs> so yeah, that's gave me that extra push. I was like, no, if Erica B- can do it, I can do of it. Of course. And people mm-hmm. understand when they need to understand, you know. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, so, but yeah, you enjoy it though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely. Lovely. Fully. No yeah. way to call me if I uh, ever decide to pop another yeah. one. <laughs> <laughs> Let me know how. <laughs> Anyhow, <laughs> <laughs> I'm not planning it. <laughs> There's no plans for it, but you never, you know. never know. How about you? You like the London life, then? Yeah. Um, <clears throat> for me, I never actually planned to live in London. Mm. Yeah, mm. she she should look because I I used to come visit my cousin. Mm-hmm visit friends, go and party. And I was like, yeah, London ain't, life ain't for me because no one got no time, no one has no manners. Mm. Everyone's just on a quick thing. If you trip and fall over, they'll just look at you and walk <laughs> over yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, for me, I happen to be 10 years mm. and I'm here. Um, I do like to go home though, just to recharge the batteries and for the quietness. Yeah, nice. she misses me. Yeah. Mm. But, I've come, but in London, I've, though, I've, yeah, it? but then in London, there's so much more to achieve because at the minute I'm working in finance, which I've been doing for the past 15, 20 years. Yeah. 
Um, I'm part of a dance group called Africa Dance Movement. Let me see your dance. Yeah, so you're doing the Ciara. Just to put you into context, guys. Just to put you into context, we actually met these ladies at party, oh, yeah. at a wow. social event. Uh, and yeah. when I saw, who was sitting there was like. The Ciara oh, came on. What energy from? Was he, like, <laughs> I can't let it get on the phone. And that's what I saw was. One, two, one, two, one, two. Yeah. Lovely. <laughs> nice, thank you. You've like, got oh. a very nice, you know. <laughs> and she got a panda book. Yeah, on the boat. Oh my goodness. But yeah, so part of a dance group, and we do carnivals and events. Mm-hmm. And then I'm also a life coach. Oh, so I do life coaching and relationships and I lifestyle. See that in you, though. Mm. Yeah, you and that vibe thank about you. you. Thank you. And you have as well. <laughs> Oh, really? yeah. have the vibe. Oh. So yeah, and then I'm also just finishing my training to become a female fitness coach. Wicked. Yeah. So yeah, that's me. Nice. Hands in all pies. Well done, yeah. ladies. Thank yeah, you. man. It's nice. It's, we thought we had to get them in, guys, in it because when we met them, I felt like we had a little connection. Yeah. We were introduced through a friend, and it was like, oh, yeah, you're in London podcasting today. Oh, we know some podcasters. Right, let's get <laughs> yes, you guys talking. Yeah, yeah. And it, yeah. Oh, it's beautiful like though. That. That people kind yeah, of yeah, recognise yeah. when yeah. people need to connect. So yeah, I'm very that's grateful true. for that. Mm, yeah, we got Peter. Yes, <laughs> yes, yes, <laughs> yes, Peter, Peter Piper, big up, brother. Big up, big up, big up. I should have worn your earrings as well, oh, no, you know. That's forget. Just, that's that's actually what it's earrings. earrings. <laughs> <laughs> nah, yeah. man. But no. yeah, no, we brought you in because we thought we did a live. Yes. And the live was really good. Catch the IG live on their page. So yeah. Let's talk about mm. podcast page. You yeah. Can, hey, can women handle the truth? You can. <laughs> yeah, we, <laughs> we, can't, we can't handle the truth. <laughs> That's what we spoke on, guys. Yeah. You can actually pick up on that on the um, yeah on our podcast. Sister, page, yeah. Sisters talk about yes, Lots. man. Go check it out. <clears throat> um, but we did that, and we was like, we need to get them in, mm-hmm. um, so we can actually do this face to face and live because I feel like they need to see the visual properly. Mm. <laughs> like <laughs> before we start, I love, I love you two's energy. Yeah, yeah. I love, from when we met, met. and yeah. then when we did the pod, when we did the, the talk, did live. Yeah. When we, uh, Coffee and I was like, I love those ladies. Like it's the same for energy. It's the same for us. Thank you. Really it's, it's a nice vibe because you can't really connect. It's just hard out there. I love I love women, but it can be hard to find to true. just meet women and connect. Yeah, it's very it's very true. <laughs> <laughs> no lies told. This it's it's so lies. Like, 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 the car. <laughs> It's, it's too much. Really? It is. It's it is. almost like I don't know what it is. The older I get, I just can't tolerate bullshit. Yeah. Right. Thank so I'm the same. I can't be around bullshitty people. Right. Yeah. So I feel like I you bring this to church, right? Yeah, yeah. 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 Can we just cheers? Yes. 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 We, we always cheers. cheers with our guests. Um, yeah. At the beginning of an episode. Yeah. So yeah. Cheers, cheers. 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 Sisters connecting. Yes. Oh, oh, oh. No. Santa, you have to do Santa. And his big eyes, and you have to look in my eyes. Oh, okay. As you can you see, Santa. I, 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 I ain't doing this. She does it all the time. Yes, she does it all the time. Santa, Santa, I'm done with the. I'm over. It means I'm over good it. health I'm over and it. French. Oh, in French. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. You see, she's Santa. over it, but it's Santa. a. Yeah, you see? No. Because <laughs> you're putting the extra You've been doing it for too long now. She's been around you too long. It don't slap the same for her. <laughs> don't slap the same. <laughs> oh. But yeah, man, we needed to bring you in because we just felt like we needed to have a good conversation. And we find it hard to find ladies that we can actually sit down and pod with. Oh, right, okay. okay. Because there aren't many in Birmingham for a start. Yeah. So, which is why we travel. <clears throat> around and mm. trying to see who we connect with yeah. and when we found you it's like yep yeah. <laughs> three male guests um, a few and far, few between. far between they really are yeah. they really yeah. are so thank you again mm-hmm. you're welcome mm-hmm. thank you thanks for having us yeah. thanks for thinking of us yeah so today we wanted to talk about friendships friendships, friendships and healing <laughs> and I feel like the two, we put the two together because I yeah. feel like yeah. um we always pass through different types of friendships. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And after we've passed through them, we do need to do some healing. And that helps <laughs> yeah. us to find better yeah. friendships and go forward. Yeah. And just healing in general. like yeah. Because we've been through COVID and we've been through a lot. I just feel like we've seen too much in this time. I mean, it's the King Karan here, Shantadia. Oh, no. We're just who's the what? Who's who's king? King? Who? Who? Who's hey, king? Okay. Yeah, it's it's it. It. So <laughs> we've, we, we've seen a lot in our time. Like, there's a lot that there's we're seeing. Like, yeah, these I've are monumental things that we're seeing. Yeah. And, um... 
I just think it's that time to talk about healing and stuff because, mm-hmm. boy, we're a different generation. Yeah. We're going to be old people, you know, we have so much to tell. Like, yeah. we'll all be yeah. writing books and memoirs and all that kind of stuff because we've been <laughs> through so much shit. It's just so <laughs> true. Yeah. We've, we've seen, seen a lot. We've seen a lot. Our generation, we've seen, seen a lot. lot. We've seen seen a lot. lot. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. If you think about it, even, like, with, like, yeah, with music, with yeah. technology. 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 Moments in history. <laughs> we, went, we went from MySpace to Instagram. Listen, like, MySpace and MSN. <laughs> MSN. MSN. Was the first. MSN. MSN. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think yes. MSN was the first way that I found to connect with um, people outside the people that I knew. Like um, MySpace. MySpace is yeah. definitely yeah, yeah. the first way I found to connect with people that I didn't know yeah. online okay. mm. and actually become friends with them yeah. i have like a few i have about three friends from myspace, MySpace days yeah. that have become true. good mm. good 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 big up bone kid <laughs> <laughs> i become my good i remember good. when they created that myspace and it just seems like donkeys it ago. was ages ago it's it was about 15 time. years yeah, ago it's a long time man i can't remember if not what my longer, name was on myspace actually it, it probably has i created an account yeah. was it i think so right it was a long time ago. <laughs> yes, a long time. But I'm telling you, I met you some of the... You were living in the house that you're living in now. No, was I? No, that's true. It's <laughs> a long time ago. <laughs> <laughs> that's how no, I you right. things. That's you're how right. I, I remember, things. I remember trying to get online and my connection was... <laughs> <laughs> that's how you used to in. connect. You had to dial in. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was different times. I had a big old Good computer, time, but that was in then. Mm. <laughs> so yeah, man, it, that, I thought that was the like, first time I connected with people outside of who I knew mm. online. I met some good, good, yeah. good, good people. Yeah. I think social media, it, it, there is that confusion. It can create that confusion of, are you a friend? You know, could you be a really good friend? Or because if you meet somebody online, you don't know what it's going to be. No. Yeah. Mm-mm. You really don't know. No. Because yeah. you don't know that you haven't connected with them physically yeah, yeah. first. Yeah. You don't you know, know what their yeah. intentions are. Yeah. So for us, I mean, like, like how we just used that example of meeting you guys on the boat party. And, yeah. You know, we felt your energy. We felt mm. your vibe. So meeting mm. people face to face is yeah. always going to be better. I always feel like that's better. Yeah. yeah. Um, but that's Old just school. me, a personal mm. thing. Mm. It is. Because um, you can pick up on people's vibes, yeah, which yeah. you can't do Online. through screen exactly. sometimes. Like, mm. I'm, a, I'm a text person, I'm not going to lie. I don't mind like doing the texting thing. But when you're thinking of a potential friendship and whatever, sometimes you can't really make that decision until you've met, you've the met them. Yeah. Mm. yeah, that's true. Mm. What's your accounts of friendships like? Have you got strong friendships from when you were young that have carried you through into your adult life? Yes. A lot? A few? I would say <laughs> a handful. Mm. Um, and a majority of them men, to be honest. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, I've got a few. Why do you one think or two men? women. They say, like, is there's no bullshit. Yeah. Mm. There's, there's no bullshit. And literally, if I'm pissed off, I'll say, I'm, you piss me off. Yeah. <laughs> do you find it's easy? to say that to a man yeah because yeah. i do because yeah. there's no <laughs> definitely they don't get in their feelings yeah. no as women we'll get in our feelings and we start creating a story yeah, and, and, and just yeah, yeah. and fairy it tales is. and it just uh, i think well, we get so used to it. you can talk to a man like that and then the next morning they get up and they text you or they ring you mm. hi and it's fine exactly the, <laughs> the, 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 the <laughs> I ain't speaking to you now. Chop, piss me off, man. Chop, I ain't trying to be. What you calling me for? Chop. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but then I have friendships as well that I've had for what? Over 20, is it over 20 years, I'm thinking. Mm. Yeah, over 20 mm. years. Still good friends. No arguments. Yeah. No mm. fallouts. And I, will, and I will say that is because for me, there were... T- I am not that yes person. I'm not that yes friend. Okay, yeah. Mm. I'm not, so... Can't tell. <laughs> I don't know what I'm they mean. I don't know what they mean. So, yeah. Time she put me in my place. <laughs> if uh, you're my friend and if you're doing something and I don't agree, i be like, but why are you doing that, though? I don't, yeah. I don't yeah. feel that's right. <clears throat> so sometimes certain friends won't tell me certain things because of no, that. So and some people have said, but Fiona, that's why they haven't yeah, told you. I'm yeah, like, but yeah. why? Because of that reaction right there. Yeah. I was like, but it, if you want the truth, <laughs> yeah, the, you I will tell you the truth. You but when they're the ready truth. for the truth, yeah. they might go come to you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but don't get that <laughs> They will always, come. Yeah. It always goes to Fiona. <laughs> but it is, 
I love you. Yeah, okay. <laughs> oh, you go. I love you. I like yeah. the way you dropped that one. Yeah, yeah. right away, can't say. You. She's holding her knee. She's holding my knee and everything. <laughs> I can rub your knee away. I'm not crossing. <laughs> right. <laughs> But yeah, in the first five seconds, she does piss me off. Because <laughs> anytime I say something, she's just like, is that what was said or is that what was said in your head? <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> but it's the truth though. And more yeah. times it's in your head, isn't it? Anyway. <laughs> I love her so yeah, after I get over that, then we're cool. <laughs> but yeah, no, I love her, man. She's straight up, straight yeah. up. And it's... <clears throat> Going back to what you're saying about like relationships with like male friendships, mm -hmm. that's what I value with, about my male friendships because mm. like even growing up, <clears throat> speaking about this a lot actually recently of how it was when I was at school, I had two sets of like groups. Yeah, like, yeah. I'd hang around with the girls, mm -hmm. but then when I had enough or when I just needed a mix up, I'd go and hang around with the boys. Yeah. And with the boys, it was just straight up. Like if there was any issues... You'd either fight it out, mm. talk it out, argue mm. it out. Within 30 minutes, it's done. Yeah. 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 With the girls, it Linga. was going on Linga. for a month. The lingo. The lingo. Yeah. And I, again, go back to what you're saying. I love my queens. I love you. I love you. I love you. However, Not it's like easy. time management. <laughs> 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 we need to grasp time management when we're sorting things we out. Are back. Yeah. Like, are we discussing things to find a solution, mm. or you just want to discuss? I think we like to hold on, don't we? Yeah. yeah. I don't know why, because our male friends don't allow us to, but we can do it with our female friends. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Which is weird, isn't it? Yeah. So it's 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 like, how do we cross that that bridge that we kind of build? Because we if we can linger it on with the the women friends, why are we doing that? If it's not necessary. That's true. That's true. Actually, I don't know. Why, ladies? Why? Why? Seriously, it's true. It's like you said. We hold up. To me, I would say they're like. It's like a relationship. Yes. <laughs> a female friendship is like a relationship. Yeah, it can yeah. be. It can. Some, it can be. Some women really, really take it like that. Though. Yeah, they yeah, take yeah. it like and a relationship. When things mm -hmm. aren't going their way, as such, it can feel like your man's coming at you. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I, I feel like I've said it before. I've, I'm, I'll be like, I'm not your man. Like, why are you talking about <laughs> like that? We're not in a. <laughs> <laughs> like, I've had that before. I feel like yeah. When I've had connections with certain women, I feel like they've overpowered. Um, they've de definitely always had an issue with our friendship uh, um, mm. and I don't know what what this energy causes for other women but it causes something because they always go on a bit um, jealous of the situation I maybe. knew you was going to say yeah. that yeah. they can be a bit a funny friendship. why'd you go oh, there and we yeah. hang every time yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. because I'm my own person and I can mm. do that but uh, going back 15 years ago you wouldn't even say that because like talking about energies and my own person and stuff like that wasn't something you really said <laughs> yeah mm. but it, it, you just knew that if i want to move this way i can move this way but some women were actually like no. understanding that situation mm. they felt the last uh, uh, the long standing friendship because of that being the basis of yeah um, yeah you know getting getting upset because of not being included in something mm -hmm. or you know and it was like we've thrown all these years away for what the inclusion mm. is inclusion. I've got to yeah. take you everywhere yeah. and I know you're not the type of friend that I can take everywhere is it? I know that the problem so if I'm not a, a, a big woman and I don't understand how you are and I don't take that into consideration when I'm going here what sense yeah. does it make yeah. in yeah. life I feel like that was the basis of the, the breakdown of it and we'd been friends from young you know mm. but then it, I don't know like that one there are classed as because I'm, I'm an only girl in yeah. my family situation oh, my family okay. dynamic mm -hmm. So I've got brothers and even like cousins and stuff. I didn't really have girl cousins like that that were my age. Mm -hmm. So I grew up around, like, I've got four brothers, but then I've got my female cousins were older than me. Right. So I didn't have them to play with and all yeah. of that kind of stuff. It was the boys. Mm. Um, so as I grew older, my female friendships were my sisters. That was it. Like, mm. And if I grew close to a, a friendship um, to with a female, that was it. Like... <laughs> You're my sister and that's it. Mm. So I, I always class my friends who, like very high in regard. Mm. Yeah. Um, yeah. People know that about me. So when that when that shit breaks down, it hurts me. Yeah. Do you yeah. know what I mean? Mm. So for things to break down, 
like it has to be a really good reason in my book mm. for us to really not talk yeah. like all that oh you go in here with that I ain't got time for that yeah. mm. I ain't got time for that please <laughs> petty mm. <laughs> that's petty yeah mm, so you know it needs to be something really deep but yeah we'll go on to the healing part <laughs> <laughs> we can create a sister yeah, circle yeah, 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 yeah. and we'll hold hands yeah but yeah. that was something yeah. I feel like I needed to heal from yeah, yeah. I think for me with because that was a very yeah. deep one for me because it was such a long-standing friendship. Yeah. Did um, it feel like a relationship? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I think for <laughs> me, <was>. with <laughs> for me with friendships, I'm not a person who makes friends easily. I'm very standoffish, mm-hmm. and that all it is is that. And that for me is when I was growing up. You know, you see, you pick up on things. Mm. So I've seen what my mum went through, mm. and all the crap. That was thrown at her, yeah. literally because of jealousy. I was mm. probably about six or seven, but I seen what she went through, and that growing, I was like, yeah, I don't really these women. I don't want friends like that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I'm very meeting someone. I'll smile. I'll be cordial. Don't get me wrong. No bad mind. No bad face. But I'm keeping you there. I'm keeping mm. you there. I need to feel you out. Because yeah. if your energy and aura isn't right, yeah, you're, you're, still, you're still here. And I'm not going to be phoning. I don't want, really want your number because I'm not phoning you every day. <laughs> it's fine, you know, it's fine. It's real, we just meet, see you when I see you. Yeah. If I have your number, maybe once every two weeks I'll phone you, but don't come my phone every day like that <laughs> until... Until yeah, and, until point. I reach a certain until point. Until you call him. Yeah, because <laughs> we're, we're, we're not friends like that just yeah, yet. Yeah, you've got to be comfortable Yeah, I've got to be comfortable. Yeah. So... Because I know for me, I always put people in brackets. I do tears. Mm-hmm. Uh, so yeah. Yeah. from going off what you said about having to really get to know somebody first before you start, you know, giving out your number and all of that yeah. kind of thing. That's not just with men, that's with women. Usually mm. we do that with men, won't we? Mm. But, you know, with women as well. Mm. So you're saying you're careful in that. I'm, I'm careful. Female. Yeah, I'm careful. Mm. This one will tell she will tell you. <laughs> plenty of, st- plenty so of stories. Okay social media. So we can be friends on social yeah, media, yeah, but, however. Yeah. yeah. The number thing, nah. <laughs> and social media, it's fine, because I really don't interact with that much anyway. Mm. So, okay, watch your social media. Yeah, do this. Okay, you do this. Okay, let's share, share social media handles. It'll be like that, like a business interaction. Mm. Yeah. If you've got something in common, <clears throat> and I just keep it moving. Mm. Um, I'll see what you're doing. Okay, I'll come to your event. Okay, that's good. I'll, that's it. Yeah. But I'm not going to be constantly... Hi, how are you? What are you doing today? What are you for breakfast? What are you for dinner? Are you, what, are you going out at the weekend? What are you doing at the weekend? Are you going out? I don't know. I get you. I don't people know. Like that. That. Yeah. Before they know people. Yeah, and that's, that's, not, they that's end not me. Up. That's where all the bitchiness comes from with the yeah. females yeah. as well. If you rush into a friendship like that and then you think it's a friendship, but people sometimes want to get in where they can fit in. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. Lord. That was a hit. What that mean? Uh, <laughs> what does that mean? I knew she was gonna do something. Uh-huh. Right. So okay, when it comes to social media, I'm the same as Fee. Like, <clears throat> I interact with people. However, I don't like try and. It's like just overworking it, basically. Mm, yeah. You know. However, when it comes to <laughs> <laughs> a big however, <laughs> big however. <laughs> Shut up. Right. <laughs> Let me talk. <laughs> so yeah, when it comes to the friendships, this is where me and Fiona have been talk chalk and cheese. Mm. Where I stop nodding. I'm agreeing with you. That's I'm going. I'm agreeing. I'm agreeing. <laughs> oh, oh, no, 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 no. no, it's like you you was oh, yeah. waiting to do the big nod. No, I'm like, just mm-hmm. like, yeah, go into it <laughs> anyhow. So yeah, I've been the person where <laughs> like I'll embrace new people yeah. with like open hands. And I'm like, let's be friends. Yeah. Let's be friends. <laughs> and then I had to learn the hard way yeah. that uh, you're not really trying to be my friends. Friend like too. there's some type of jealousy or, mm. you know, I've had friends like with the whole manipulation, Bullshit, you know, huh? working, trying to work their brains to try and put me down. Yeah. And that came from jealousy, mm-hmm. you know. 
And yeah, like I've brought some people around for you. Oh lord! And she sniffed them she, up. She's just like, straight away. And she said, yeah, "Oh, she, here we she, go again." She, she won't even like. She's standing over there, and she's just looking. And she's just like, "No, why are you bring this person around me?" For? <laughs> and I'm like, "They're all right. They're all right." And she's like, "No, what are you doing with this person?" Mm-hmm. And then she, mm-hmm, "Hi, hi, hi." <laughs> <laughs> bah. Yeah, <nice. laughs> bah. And then it'll just be yeah, uh, just a matter of time where. I would I would come to see that what Fiona was saying was the truth. Yeah. yeah. Like the energy that she sensed at the beginning, the energy that she was mm. questioning was the reason why there was a breakdown in the end. Mm. You know? I hear so that. I've had to mm. learn because yeah, growing up I was like a ple- people pleaser. Yes. You know, and I do. I love new people. I love mm. new energies. I'm the same. Do you know what I mean? And, and I don't that, like to. That's you. I'm the opposite. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I like meeting new people. Yeah, I love meeting. I, I feel new like people. as I've got older, I'm I'm getting better at yeah. knowing who's who. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, yeah, yeah. It takes a lot of experience. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> to yeah. sniff out. The yeah, yeah. To sniff out, to sniff out the BS, yeah. you know, yeah. and to trust your intuition. Yeah. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Because at the beginning, I was overriding my intuition. Yeah overriding my gut oh, feeling oh she's nice she's like, yeah, yeah. Mom, that'd be alright <laughs> you know okay. and then it's just like no the full of shits mm-hmm. yeah do you know what I mean mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just remembering I know she's no, so bad, bad. <laughs> oh my god oh, sorry sorry bad. 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 I'm just remembering like yeah I remember that one and yes I remember yeah, and yes I remember some... that one too yeah, yeah I got some stories yeah. boy but I just I remember <laughs> <laughs> I remember all of them, but the one in particular was out at a big function, and I hadn't seen you for like a few weeks, I think. And you came, and you was with this particular person. I said, and at the the part I was with at the time, I said to him, "What's name you doing with that woman? Mm. I don't, I don't understand why she's with this woman." Mm. And uh, no, no. I was, the energy was just. Oh, I was like, yeah. no, it doesn't, it doesn't match. It doesn't match. So, and I'm naming, I said, oh, hi, Fee, this is so-and-so, so and this is my Chris. Oh, hi, nice to meet you, nice to meet you. Then we speak on the phone, I was like, nay, who is that? <laughs> who, seriously. How did you meet her? I was like, how did you meet her? Yeah. That's my first question. How did you meet her? How? Da, da, da. Um, yeah. <clears throat> yeah. What I found is, yeah, there was so, especially because of the line of work that I do as well. You meet a lot the, of new people. Yeah. yeah. And there'll be people that would imitate like they really want to be my friend but really they want to come into my life and see how i operate things yeah oh. who i know yeah who i can Get introduce to them to. yeah you know so it yeah it's, it's, <laughs> it's been it's been an interesting one but i, I feel like i'm You're i've learning. learned and i'm still learning good, you know good. yeah that's what it's about though yeah. isn't it and exactly. that's why you have your protector over there <laughs> you know what no. i mean <laughs> I have my spirit guides and ancestors protecting me, but on earth, this one, this <laughs> one, come, come, my right soldier, next to you. Yeah, my soldier, man. <laughs> to be honest, we each of us yeah, soldier. Do you know what I mean? True. Like in terms of, like bring it to present day. Like I do have, like going to what you're saying about the tears. Mm. <laughs> the tears of friendships, like having an understanding, like it's okay to say. That someone's an acquaintance. Yeah. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Or a friend of a friend. I use yeah. friend of a yeah. friend a lot. Yeah. Because I'm thinking, well, I don't know that person that well. I only know them through this person. Yeah. So I'm yeah. a bit weary. Yeah. Um, but I don't mind them having my social media or whatever. But yeah. the same mm. thing, I don't want them to know about mm-hmm. me. Yeah. yeah. They're not yeah. my friend. Yeah. 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 <laughs> 100, 100. So. But like, I can remember when I was younger, I always feel, I used to think that friendships could only like I have my family who I'm close with, yeah. mm-hmm. but like in terms of friends friendships it's like outside of the family mm. as I'm older I realize and I have the inner overstanding like my the two closest people to me is my sister my, we call us our sister cousin friends yeah. and then my actual sister mm. they're the two people closest to me yeah. yeah and that's I'm cool with that like everybody else that like, I'm cool with mm. we talk but my two closest people is my sister and my sister. Mm. That's it. I hear that, you know. Yeah. Mm. I keep my circle very small because yeah, yeah. I'm funny like you as yeah. well. I just can't. I don't like to meet new people. Yeah. <laughs> don't. I don't mind. It's an ongoing joke at work. I'm like, oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> Who is this who's going to upset the artist? What are they going to do? What kind of tea? What no our milk? <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> it was an ongoing thing, but it, it, I didn't realise at the time it was because I'm detecting the energy and stuff like that. Yeah. I'm just like, you know, but I feel like I carry a very kind of like stern face. I might not be the most uh, approachable. Yeah, I get not that. that I'm not a nice person. Why are you laughing? But you know what? It didn't click like to me. You what you need to sit together. <laughs> <laughs> you need to move I might not be. I feel like even, <laughs> even in our podcasting journey, I feel yeah. like Sophie might be the easier one for people to gravitate towards because yeah. Sophie is a yeah. <laughs> was, I'm like, yeah, hi. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> Work one. But, but it, I, I actually really tried to deep, why am I like that? Is it a bad thing? Is it a thing? And I, you know what? My nan was the same. Mm. God rest her soul. But she was a stern woman and it mm. never did her no bad. Like, because mm. she was lovely under the exterior. Mm. She was the most beautiful person underneath it. And I thought that was just her protective layer of not letting bullshit through. And it mm. did her no bad. So I was like, you know what? I'm her granddaughter and I understand yeah. what that does for me. So I just... I don't know. It wasn't something I purposely done, but I kind of realise why I'm that way now. It's mm. like a protective layer mm, because yeah. me, I'm just too nice when it comes to anything. Mm. I will go so far down mm. the line to make sure something works. And somebody was saying to me the other day, you can really like explore every avenue to make a situation work. And you explore, and explore, explore, explore. And then you're like, okay, I'll give in. But you've explored so yeah. much because I'm that type of person mm. under that layer yeah. so I feel like it's just my protective layer yeah. of like letting, letting people through because I know that I can be taking the piss out of mm. because mm. of the fact that I, my nice nature's there because you being a giver there's a lot yeah. of and that's yeah. and that's what it is and mm. you can't help it and it's something I say I should do better but I can't, I can't change it and I don't want to change it to mm. be honest because I think when we get to this age it's difficult to change anything no no you can it is certain things yeah, when you're going degree. on a journey of like through healing and learning from experiences but it's difficult to change mm-hmm. once you hit these ages now we're in our 40s and it's like no you can't necessarily change nah, completely mm. you can't you know mm. you have to kind of be acceptive of who you are, you are. and work with those tools because you like that for a reason mm. you do that you'll do it's like true. you'll do what we call the self-development mm. but like you said you've already changed things are ingrained in your end yeah, anyway so yeah this is it i am what i am i am what i am what i am this is me and who is supposed to accept you they accept you yeah exactly as you are accept me as yeah. i am so it is it is one of them but I feel me. like mary j blige should be um mm. playing now just take me yeah. as I am. <laughs> oh, oh, no. <laughs> it's true. Yeah. Right. But what about your healing journey? <laughs> <laughs> if you've lost like friendships or relationships, how have you found the journey of healing? Um, mm-hmm. Especially as we've got older, because I feel like healing now is completely different to how healing looked years ago i feel like now like it's a complete different process Mm. where it was Mm. healing before i know me younger there wasn't a process process. 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 it's done that's okay now you get and then if someone sees your ball what are you crying for yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. Because... <laughs> I'm, all, I'm, all I'm okay. I'm okay. <laughs> Why your eyes them look so? Yeah. <laughs> that would be my dead giveaway as well. Is that I? Yes. Day, man. Is that Just one? Put that puffiness. And then they didn't even wear makeup to cover that shit. Exactly. <laughs> You got to work, you're like, hi! <laughs> okay, what's wrong with you? <laughs> I'm fine! <laughs> Your eyes are out of here. <laughs> but I think it looks completely different now. Yeah. Especially like where we're in our 40s. Yeah. I know through COVID, there's just been so much shit that's happened. Mm. Um, healing definitely looked completely different mm. through bad circumstances. Yeah. For me personally, it did look different. It became a walking thing. It became something where I listened to a lot of music. Music Music was my uplift. Um, That really helped me through. Um, I learned to be cool with myself rather than always having to share what I'm going through with everyone else. Like, yeah, I would share it with yourself or Mm. with my closest, but I learned to be cool. Like, just to have my own energy and just Mm. to be, like, an individual and just actually sit in them lonely times and appreciate it that Mm. I've got to learn rather than just, like, being like, I had to put myself out there. You know, I've got to be out. I've got to be outside. Like, it wasn't (laughs) that. 
it was yeah. literally like going out on a Friday night was not solving it. So it was, I'm happy to stay in and chill yeah. Yeah. and sit with myself and think yeah. <laughs> about why I'm yeah. here in this place. Yeah. 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 And it's so that you're your own best friend, isn't it? So being mm, alone yes. with your thoughts sometimes mm-hmm. it does help because <coughs> you know where you want to get to. You know what you've been through. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know? How can I solve this for myself? You can go to your friends for advice. Of yeah. course. You can go to your family or whoever you're closest to. Mm. But only you know what you want for yourself. Mm. So exactly. take little draw little bits from everybody mm. and then think about what you need mm. and then move forward. Yeah. Yeah. That's definitely that is so true, so so true. Um I think for me, what you said there about learning to be okay with yourself, I started doing that funny nearly love thinking about it now when I used to work abroad. Mm. Okay. So many, I used to be a children's rep abroad. Yeah. So literally from like April to October, mm. I'd be out of the country. I remember when I first did it for the first six weeks, I was bawling to my mum. <laughs> <laughs> and after this first, then after the six weeks, I just, just didn't phone her. Yeah. But for me, I think that being away <laughs> because I can't get on a bus. <laughs> but yeah, for yeah, me, right. but working working abroad, um, there was no one. If I had a lot of alone time, so for example, the people that I worked with, and they mm-hmm. were calling them my work acquaintances. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. Um. But. If I was going, I couldn't really, at the time, there wasn't pick up the phone, there wasn't um, face-to-face. Mm-hmm. It was literally the beginning of MSN when yeah. people would oh, just... There was no FaceTime. There was no FaceTime. <laughs> it was when people were just getting an email account. <laughs> <laughs> That's when... <laughs> Do, 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 do. do you know how long it took do, to do, send do, an email? In. Exactly. I was like, I don't have an email account, so I need to get a phone card, phone my book. <laughs> So, so it would have been a more of a struggle. It was, it was, it, yeah, so mm-hmm. that was a struggle for me. So there I took my time, I read books. I just learned to be in my own energy, my own presence. Mm. Yeah. And then I noticed that when there's a point when I came back, um, I did it for a couple of years when I came back, but I think mum had a, friend, a family friend came round and I was just sitting in the lounge just reading a book. And my mum's friend went, you feeling okay? <laughs> she just sat there, she's quiet. Mum said, she's fine, she's reading. She's reading a book. Woman, yeah, what's it? yeah, she's reading a book. What's wrong with reading a book? Because I was just there like this television was off. <laughs> but, and I'm a person, I do like my own space. Yes. Yeah. I do like my own space. And like you said, I think it helps as well. Yeah, it does. Yeah, it knowing does. yourself and mm-hmm. what you want. So you, if you are in a situation and people are around, just, just draw on yourself. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Draw on your own energy, on your yep. own thoughts. So important. Yeah, it really is. I think people lose that, especially in this day and age. Mm. Um, the social media aspect just really like it's thrown everything. Hasn't it? it has because yeah. a person can sit there and they can have a a load of people following on social media, but it can be the loneliest they, person yeah. ever. Yeah, yeah. Not got they can be the loneliest person. Yeah. Yeah. No, no, That's they can't. So They're sitting there, and the only <laughs> way they feel wanted is by looking on their social media and seeing oh. how many people are following them, and then yeah. posting yeah. and this yeah. and that. Yep. Yeah. Um, but. It's like when you put that phone down and your battery runs out, can you actually sit down and be cool with yourself? Mm. And that, I feel like sometimes it can be questioned in this day and age because I feel like people are really scared to sit with themselves sometimes. Mm. Yes. <laughs> I feel like we're probably just the last generation that can probably do that. Anybody over, I'd say anybody over yeah. 30, Five. 30, mm. 35, anybody younger than that yeah. would probably mm. struggle. Mm. That's you. true. Yeah. You might be right, you know. Because of the technology. Mm. Because we know what it's like not to have it. Mm. Yeah, man. I love my own company. Yeah, yeah. Mm. I love it. I could happily yeah. yeah. just like, like you said, reading. I love reading. I always <clears> have <throat> from I was little, and thank God my daughter's picked up on that as well. She's <laughs> ages reading her books and that, and I love it. But now reading is something from COVID yeah. that yeah. really helped me in COVID, and I was mm. reading lots of different things, and I was buying oh, buying different books off Amazon mm. and this and that. But I found that helped me when I was. Doing a bit of healing, yeah, sure, mm. and making mm. little notes and highlighting bits in the book, mm. like I was <laughs> still studying. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, it was really, really strange, but I did go through that process. Mm. I think meditation. Yeah. I do meditation as yeah. well, yeah. and even and like people think, oh, meditation, mm, uh, mm. <laughs> <laughs> but it can literally be it's like three minutes, just just yeah. sitting. In breathing. silence and just breathing. Yes. Yes. Even when you're going for a walk, you can meditate. When you, mindfulness. Yes. Yeah. Just go for a walk and just breathe. Mm. 
Mm. Just take a few minutes out for yourself. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's another thing COVID did, like the walking has mm. become a lot more. The walking apparent. definitely. Also, like, yeah. Got rid of my gym membership, and I was, what's the point? Yeah. Mm. <laughs> you know. Yeah. So I've, I've just walked <coughs> since then, and I've stuck with it, mm. even after things got better. So. Yeah. It helps, man. Because it's better than being in a packed gym. Like, mm, exactly, you know, yeah. like, you need that space and that yeah. peace. And, you know, like being around nature <laughs> as well. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. I found that helped more than being in a gym and waiting for equipment. And no. Yeah, I'm not that person. <laughs> I do, I do, I, gyms, yeah, I like them because of the equipment and stuff. But mm. I say to people, I don't, don't come on next to me. If there's a treadmill that's free over there, go over there. Why are you coming yeah, yeah. here? Go I to know. the one over there. But Just yeah, don't. I want that space. Don't I want you? my space. I'm don't be near me. That's the reason me. why the walking Just, does work. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> it really does so, work. Yeah. Walking. Mm. I recommend it, people. Walking yeah. works. We talk about it all the time. Yeah. Just having mm. that, that space to just walk and cleanse your mind, man. Important. In the last, in the, was it? It wasn't 10 years ago, but nearly 10 years. Mm. Walking. <clears throat> Like thinking about my healing journey, mm-hmm. I realized how much how therapeutic walking was for me. Yeah. yeah. Like even if um going through some kind of confrontation or something, was able to patch it out in my head, yeah. Yeah. Mm. and have the argument in my head. But it's like true. the back yeah. and forth, yeah. and then yeah, by yeah. the end <laughs> of the walk, I would feel calm. I would have all the answers that I needed. Yeah. And I didn't feel as distressed as I did at the beginning of the walk. So walking yeah. definitely has done a lot for me in terms of for my healing journey. Mm-hmm. And then as an extension of that, and you'll probably laugh because you're always laughing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. No, I don't have to. Um, a lot of people do. But at first I was like, what? And I was like, oh, okay. Now I'm like, like oh, yeah, Tree okay. hugging yeah, and yeah. grounding. Mm, okay. Yeah. yeah, we was just talking about yeah, that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I picked up when you were saying about yeah, the ground. Yeah, somebody that we know does yeah. it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. But yeah, tree hugging really calms but me. Tell me, tell me, if for the viewers that don't understand what tree hugging <laughs> yes. is, explain to them what it is. Basically, like, how, how I do it is... <laughs> okay this is this might sound weird but so i can walk past loads hundreds of trees but there'll be one particular tree that mm. just speaks to me yeah what's and it, then what that's the tree yeah come give me a hug yeah. <laughs> <Your queen. laughs> Yo, pss, 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 pss. <laughs> Hey, hey, does the tree bark at you? Yeah. <laughs> I like that. Hello. Hello. <laughs> but yeah, it's like there's a, I can't, I can't say what the tree is saying, but there's just like this overwhelming feeling that yeah. I need to go and check this tree. Yeah. yeah. And that means go to that tree and literally hug it. Mm. And I don't care if there's people around. Okay. You know, like if there's, I'd prefer if there's no one there, so mm. it's just very intimate, personal. It's just me and the tree. But yeah, <laughs> get personal. Hey, hey. I'm not sure but, if I'm ready for that yet. You know? <laughs> but yeah, and I'll literally just hug on the tree, put my cheek on it, yeah. like a full body hug, mm. and just stay there for as long as I feel. Do you I feel need. like you get energy from that? Yeah, hundred yeah. percent. Yeah, and like if there's any confusion or anything, because how I think about like trees, they've been here. They've seen so, oh, yeah. so, so much. True. They've right. been through a lot mm. and they're still there. Yeah. yeah. So I get that, like, you're still here. Like, mm. I can't even imagine what you've seen, mm-hmm. what you've been through, what winds you felt, mm-hmm. and you're still here standing strong. Yeah. That makes me feel strong. And I'm mm. like, yeah, I'm going to take this strength. I'm going to take the wisdom of the tree. Yeah. yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. That they're still mm. withstanding, that why they're still there. And then bring that home with me. Do you know nice. what I mean? And it just makes me feel peaceful. Yeah. yeah. Makes me feel so I like peaceful. That, you know? I like the way mm. you've explained it. I get yeah. it now. Yeah. I get it a little bit more now. I, kn- I know somebody... I was a bit sceptical about it. <laughs> 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 it well, it is, but it sounds like a bit wacky. Do you yeah. know what I mean? Like, Because I know whenever I tell anybody, yeah, I'm a tree hugger. Yeah. like... I thought you was cool. <laughs> and they're like, yo, I think you need to see a psychiatrist. And I'm like, 
And I'm like, no, it's calm. Yeah. Like, you should come. Yeah. So. I've tried the grounding before. <clears throat> mm. Mm. Um, I'm walking barefooted. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I did that. That's I remember nice. doing it in my old back garden. Mm-hmm. Um, and that was a really long back garden. I had a lot of space. Yeah. And I remember doing it <clears throat> when my daughter was really young. And just having, I was having some ups and downs um, with stuff. And I was worried about a few things. And I just remember doing it and feeling <clears throat> a little bit better, actually. Mm. That. I've tried yeah, it and yeah. I felt it helped mm. but because somebody recommended it to me and I had to try it a few times before I really got the benefit the tree hugging is completely new mm. however yeah <laughs> the stages like, mm. it was yeah. good to hear your take on it yeah. though yeah that's my take on it and how I, I see like it and it. how I feel you know mm. I agree. The grounding, going back to that, I've always done that without knowing that I, that's what I was doing. I yeah. just, yeah. I just like to be barefooted. You're just a barefoot person. Yeah, <laughs> I just like to be barefooted. I like to feel. Mm. I don't know why. It's like the textures. I don't know what it means mm. to okay. me, but I've always okay. felt that way. From in the grass, I'm being young and always going mm. out in the back garden mm. and running across the grass and always being barefooted. Put on your shoes. And I don't <laughs> want it. So it, it's always what I've done without knowing yeah. why I do it. Or sometimes mm. patterns can come with us from our childhood, and we don't actually know. Yeah. We don't actually can. We can't really comprehend it until we're older. Yeah, mm. it's strange. Yeah. But it's, yeah. a, it's a good thing though. Mm. I'd recommend everyone to try it. I try. I definitely would try the tree hug it. I might want to do it in private though. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't know if I'm ready for doing it publicly. Well, me and one other lady, um, a couple years ago, we did organise a group. Mm. We did it in South London, and we basically org- organised a group and invited anyone, everyone to come. It's like basically like a a tree hugging. Um, sound bath mm. meditation circle it was so beautiful really it was beautiful that's nice <clears throat> yeah so nice. and it was beautiful to see because like there was one woman that brought her children with her mm. and i was taking lead from the children the children's energy and i was like okay this <clears throat> this is who we need to be influenced by because yeah. they were just so carefree and then there was like in tune with, there was loads of birds that were surrounding us and just in, in tune with the birds. And I was like, you see? Yeah. Look at that. Oh, that's nice. Look at that. You know, it's beautiful. But yeah, I have introduced my nephew to tree hugging. Yeah. My sister, she's just like, nay, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> but my nephew, he loves it. He loves it. He'll video call me just to show me, I'm, I'm hugging a tree, auntie. I'm oh. a tree. Oh. It's beautiful. It's beautiful, but yeah, my sister's yet yet to take it on board. She's more interested in the insects. The insects are gonna get on my face. Oh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> hilarious, <laughs> hilarious. But I think that's good. I feel like we've given the viewers some different things for them we to have. kind of marinate on and mm. like try when mm. they are going through things. Because I I don't know. I think today's world is a different world, and people are going through different stuff and. I'm not sure if people really lean towards friendships as much as they lean towards themselves to kind of like self heal. I think people are a yeah. little bit um, not as vocalized. Mm. Um, people can really recluse themselves, yeah, yeah, and um, not really let out what they need to let out. And I think these are good ways of kind of like assisting yeah. with their healing, yeah, with whatever they're going through if mm. they're not if they haven't got an outlet. Mm. Mm. True. I mean, I don't feel we're gonna find big black Jamaican men hugging trees. <laughs> But it's good yeah. to let them know that it's an it's, option. It's an option. If, if yeah, a tree yeah, yeah. speaks to you, yeah, you know don't, get don't get scared. Yeah, they can yeah, understand now why. Yeah. They but might you know be feeling that way. About, um, big black men. I've been speaking to a few men recently, yeah. and they're warming up to that idea of going tree hugging me, and I'm like, yeah, yep, see? yeah. Mm. Yes. and I'm like, put your ego aside. Mm. Put your ego yeah. aside. Yeah. It's not. It's not feminine, it's not masculine, it's just being. Yeah. Mm. Like realise we're spiritual beings before humans, mm. you know. So mm. put all the physical aside and do what's best for you. Do you yeah. know what I mean? That's what's gonna make you help to release and make you feel mm-hmm. calm. Yeah. You know? Because essentially we know what we want. Our body tells us what we need. Yeah. yeah. But we just don't listen to it. And like in that Mm. instance i feel like you've connected so much that you can actually feel yeah i need to do this yeah, yeah. and i don't shows... feel embarrassed about no, it and, no. and you yeah. should that's because that just that shows you really interconnected with yourself yeah. Yeah. whereas some people aren't some people are still worried about what's going on around them and yeah. they still got a people shall i shan't i yeah, yeah. The what yeah. People who's gonna snapchat me yeah. while i'm hugging this tree, tree. yeah I don't. That's what all people, of that this is what people think all though, of that yeah. i honestly don't i when you're 100 percent comfortable in yourself yeah doing to help you then you don't care yeah I went from 
days of when you remember like i used to care too much about what people thought a lot yeah, a, a lot, lot. Always yeah, creating too, stories of my yeah. own of what someone's oh, thinking. Are you yeah. what star sign are you? Aquarius. Oh, okay. Aquarius. What star sign is? Oh, I'm on the cusp of Cancer and Leo. Okay. Mm, but, but yeah, yeah, I used to. Yeah, like I was lot. always worrying about what someone thought. Yeah. Mm. Their, you know, what they could possibly think. All of the scenarios. Mm. Yeah. Now, I would say, I, I wouldn't say I totally don't care, mm. but I am nearer to not, not caring. caring. Yeah. Same. I'm so near to not caring. You have like, to be. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> no, seriously, yeah, you, have, you to have to be. be. Yeah. You have to be. Because essentially, we're out here and people don't really give a shit about nobody. No. And then you're sitting there marinating and, oh my right. God, what is this? And, then, yeah, and that yeah. time the person even farted on you. Yeah. Yeah. They don't even care. And, and even someone that has done something to you, you know, after they've done it, guess what? They've moved on. Exactly. Yeah, and you're, still and you're stuck you. in a moment for yeah. so long because you're allowing yourself to be yeah, stuck in yeah, it and you're not yeah, setting 100. yourself free. So it is good that. Yeah. It, and, and we've all been to it. We've all been there. Like I said, I just think it's growth and getting mm. to a certain definitely. age. Definitely. <clears throat> Um, I definitely couldn't sat here and said half the things I said 10, 15 years mm. ago. Mm. Yeah, very the growth true. Because different. Yeah. And, and I'd be worried about what people thought as well. Yeah, Like, oh, you my would. God, he's going to whack his you mm. yeah. yeah. You don't really care after a while. You just kind of get on with it. Who doesn't like it, doesn't like it. Who yeah, yeah. Does. it's true. Which means something's changing, changing in today's world. Mm. I mean, I know times are hard, but I feel like people are getting really more spiritually connected with themselves yeah, yeah they're and understanding that. that this is bigger than us and there is yes. an entity or there's something <laughs> yeah. that really yeah. guides us and yeah. keeps us together because if if we didn't why would we be feeling this way why would we even be talking about the word spirit actually spi mm. spiritual, spiritual. Yeah. Yeah. yeah we wouldn't even be doing it <laughs> yeah. Yeah. if that wasn't the case yes. because i know we never said that Years ago, mm. everything was just like, my spirit, not take them. That's as far as it goes. That's all that I was saying. My spirit, my spirit, my spirit, my spirit, don't take them. That's why I never like it. My spirit, not take them. See them, my spirit, never take them. But now we see them, it's like, I'm a spiritual person and I can feel it in my intuition and this and that. We didn't say that before. We'd be like, anyway, whatever. It is what it is. Yeah, yeah. That's true. I wanted to ask, sorry, go on. Go on, go on. I wanted to ask something about, how do you feel with like closure? You know, like when you've gone through something with friendships and yeah. it hasn't ended well, how, how do you deal with closure? Because some people really feel like they need it mm. in order to move on and other mm. people don't so much. Is it required? Do you, you know, what do you think about it? Yeesh. <laughs> <laughs> um... <laughs> Are you a just delete uh, block? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she is. We, we already done no I'm like, it's done. done. I'm, I'm, I'm like, closure, done. I'm like it's done. We don't need to have Why do I need, for me, I'm like, to get closure, you're still kind of holding, I feel you're, you're still holding on to it. Yeah. What are you holding on to it yeah. for? That person's done that, you're, and you want that closure. The person's, like you said, mm -hmm. that person's moved on. Mm -hmm. Is that closure... Yeah, why do you why do you really yeah, want it? What you, is it actually? What is for? it actually? What is it actually What's for? The intention? But yeah, you're just yeah. wanting someone to give you an answer mm. to your questions. Or do you, you just yeah. want to be heard one last time? Mm. Yeah, one to last go back time. over the same yeah. argument. You're not getting the answer that you want, yeah. so yeah. you just keep going back yeah. and back mm -hmm. and back. <laughs> I'm, I'm not going mad then. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's, how, that's how I yeah. felt about the situation that I was it's, talking about earlier. Mm. <laughs> and this person kept asking and asking and asking for this meet up. So that we could uh, have this talk, yeah. this closure thing. And I was just not on it. I wasn't on it, was yeah. I? Was yeah. like, oh, but you had done it so many times, times. previously. I used to say, mm. yeah, <laughs> we all know what this is going to be. Yeah. Yeah. Why do you keep going back and, and entertaining it for? Mm. Because you're not going to get nothing out of it. You're no, not yeah. going to come off better off. Exactly. So it was more of a draining thing rather than, okay, yeah, I'll give it a chance. It, you know, it just yeah. felt so draining. No, I, no. I would say so it's good to like talk, hash things out, have mm -hmm. that talk, but then that's it. Like, yeah. so, yeah. like you say, it's done. <coughs> if the talk's happened, mm -hmm. we finished. No, yeah. there's nothing more. Mm -hmm. There's clues. And you yeah, walk I'll... that way, I walk that way. It's <laughs> fine. It's true. We don't need to chat again. Or if we do, yeah, we do. Keep true. it cordial, keep it moving. Yeah, I'd say for myself, like, quite similar to Fee, where, like, if anything, my closure is in like, say something's happened mm. and I'll talk it out with feet. And I'm like, yo, <laughs> you know, <laughs> like this happened. And then, you know, just like when you get memories of things. Yes. 
Do you know what I mean? So like she would needs... get all that yeah. <laughs> on, my, on my sister. And I'd be like, yeah, and then they did this and then they did that. And then the wondering why this and do you know what I mean? So that is part of my closure yeah. with like venting out to someone that I trust and love. Yeah. And like understanding what actually happened. Yeah. Or, you know, um, yeah, I've got to a place where I don't need to have that last conversation. Yep. There is a, yeah, we all just speak that hints. There was, there was, <laughs> there was a, a friend who, yeah, they they just switched up. Mm. They just it switched up over falling ass, <laughs> and, <laughs> and I just accepted. I was like, what what does my Angela say when people show you who they are, or when people tell you who they are? Believe believe them, them the first, them the first time. time. So yeah. you see, when this particular friend showed me who they was, uh, I believed them. Yeah, I trusted uh, mm-hmm. what they showed mm. me. And I kept it jogging. Yeah. Because yeah. I was like, I don't need to chat to you again. Mm. I don't need to go over what you did mm. or what you didn't do. Because you already done or how Or how yeah. you could have, should have fixed up. Mm. Like, we're big, ras people. Yeah. I don't need to be coming in. Like, I'm not your mother. Mm. <laughs> I'm not your mother. So mm. I'm not your sister. Do you know what I mean? Like, we're close and we were tight, tight. So mm. it was disappointing. Yeah. That's what I'll say. It was disappointing. But then I accepted it for what it was and I just kept it moving. Yeah. Now, recently I'm getting messages saying, oh, I'd like to have a conversation. And mm-hmm. I'm like, oh, okay, if you want to try it out, then we can do that. She's like, I know, because she knows what I'm going to do. I just realised what it is. And then I'm like, I love oh, that. Yeah, oh, yeah, and I'm like, cool. This is like nine months later, you know. Yeah. Nine, but what took nine you so months. Damn long? Nine blood seed months. Mm. So I'm like, oh, okay. Why? Yeah, like, whatever you want to say, like, to be honest, for me, the issue, the weight, the, the baggage is on your side. Mm. You showed who you was. Yeah. And yeah. again, it was over foolishness. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? It was real petty. There was no understanding from that side. Nothing. It was, yeah. And it was just like, yeah, but yeah, if you want to talk it out, we can talk. Yeah. Up to now, I'm not in, and but I'm caught. But again, I'm cool with it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because yeah. you know you're comfortable in the yeah. situation. Yeah. I'm a person where you know what. <laughs> I know we're not talking about relationships, mm. but then you see when a relationship is done for me. Yeah. yeah. I don't. There's certain people I've blocked, mm. but I'm more like I delete your number, blood. Mm. Do you yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. But with this particular person, I haven't deleted the number yet. Mm. But you know, when you're just on the cloud, like I'm like, why am I carrying your number for? Because yeah. I've got no intention of calling yeah, you. Exactly. Yeah. That's Do you true. know what I mean? Mm. So I I'm getting, I'm getting to that point of mm, I might just delete the number soon because I, I have no intention of calling it. Mm. We've got nothing else to say, mm. and. I think, like, with the healing and the closure is acceptance. Yes. yes. That's yeah. the big word Except for me. Basically, mm. yeah. and Accept, on accepting knees. of what happened. Yeah. 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 It might not be in the form that you expected it yeah. to be. You might not have got answers you wanted, but yeah. it's happened. They, they disappointed me, mm. accepting that. And that's it. They're, they're a flawed human. We're all flawed humans. Yeah. Mm. Do you know what I mean? But then there's a point where there's many people that they don't know how to hold themselves accountable no mm. guess what i accept that yeah this is this is your actions i accept that mm. i'm i'm cool with it now you know and i'll just keep it moving i wish mm. you all the best mm. i wish you all the blessings that you deserve in life mm-hmm. simple keep it moving but yeah that's how i that's how i move with things it's true don't blame me no it's important to be clear and yeah clarity with, yeah yeah with, with Clari- how you yeah. deal with things I don't know. Thank you for You're welcome. welcome. I just wanted to know. I wasn't going mad because you know, part of me sometimes looks back on certain situations and think, okay, could I have dealt with this differently? Mm. So we all do that, though, don't we? We always Mm. kind of do that when we leave somebody who we think significant in our life Mm. behind because of circumstances. Mm. We do, we do question it and we do think, but you know, I think in today, like here now, 
I think I've got to a point where I feel like if somebody's left my life, it's for a reason. Mm. Yeah. And I don't question it no more. I really mm. don't yeah. question it. I'm just like, there's a reason. Yeah. That's their time. It's come. It's yeah. gone. Yeah. yeah. And that I, one, I feel like it was a long time coming. Yeah. So mm. it was yeah. bound to happen mm. anyway. It was inevitable with the patterns that had gone on over mm. the years, mm. the last few years prior. So mm. I was half ready for it. Yeah. So... Mm. But I did. I did wonder what could I have changed. Mm. Was know? it patterns that you allowed to happen? Yeah, some of it. Yeah, yeah. Mm. definitely. I didn't always open my mouth sometimes mm. Mm. and stick up for yourself. Yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> oh dear! I'm taking the case of that. <laughs> it's hard you know. It's hard to open your mouth sometimes if you become yeah. that person and you yeah. you're used to being the one that just kind of. I used, be, I used to be. I used to be like that. Yeah, yeah. And you I was just like that. I think but then I get on the phone to Michelle or something and moan. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. 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 And yeah. I can't. I should have really been doing that moaning. Yeah, yeah. telling that, that person about just the agency. Yeah, mm-hmm. and you have to. And it's, it is. It's <laughs> difficult. It is very difficult. Like being one hundred with people sometimes because you know that. If especially the person is they might not be acceptive of hearing it so you actually <laughs> kind of hold back because you don't really want to tell them truly about themselves yeah. but sometimes you have to let them know that like, this is not what I'm putting up with anymore yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I'm not explaining myself because I recently had someone <clears throat> where I kind of completely mm. locked them off and I swear like I thought to myself was it good or bad? No, it was needed. It was required in that mm. time because I know when I needed that person, they were not was not there for me. Bye. Yeah. They were not <laughs> there for me. <laughs> and I know in that circumstance, had the shoe been under the foot, I would have been there for them. Yep. Yeah. And if you're not yeah, reciprocating my, yeah. that yes. to me, I can't, I cannot be around you. Mm. As you're like, as, speak. <laughs> seriously, <laughs> I can't be around you because yeah. I'm a giving person. Yeah. If you can't give that back to me, that means I misinterpreted what exactly. our friendship is. So yeah. we don't need it. Yeah, so I'm exactly. good. So I am absolutely 100% good. Yeah. It's I not think, good. Yeah, I think in my younger days, I was... I was more concerned about not speaking the truth or saying what was really was on my chest and my heart <coughs> so I don't tip that person over their edge. Yeah. Mm. But then it was internally... So what are you doing to yourself? Yeah, exactly. I was tipping myself over their yeah. edge. Yeah. you up. Yeah, yeah, it is. It is. So it's like finding that balance, mm-hmm. you know? Mm-hmm. Like sometimes you don't need to say nothing. No. Mm. But then there's other times where you're going to hear my mouth yeah. and I ain't <laughs> shutting up until I feel ready. You know when you just... <laughs> <laughs> okay. You're gonna hear it today, but you have to. You have yeah. to. Let it, you have to let go. And there's times when you n- you need to know when not to say mm. anything because sometimes saying less means more. Mm. But sometimes yeah. See, that would be me. I'd say like, I wouldn't. I would. I wouldn't say nothing. See, I only give you quiet. the face. I should I just, everything is in a facial <laughs> yeah. expression. When you look but they know with you. Yeah. That, that is. <laughs> well, you see your face. Says your face everything. Is. Like you say, feet. Like what? What? Go on, what are you thinking? Nothing. But you can... <laughs> and I'm like and that's it right there that's look, it right there and I'm like, your face is saying something else what are you thinking <laughs> that is it right there she but thinks yeah. she's got a poker face her poker do, face is I shit <laughs> I don't know what you mean my, my poker face is fine thanks right. your poker face is fine. fine thank you fine thank you it's fine it's fine <laughs> yes yeah. it's true no seriously it just kind of is what it is sometimes saying less is more and sometimes you mm. have to speak things with your chest or people will never understand where you're truly coming from yeah. because some mm. people really do take you for an idiot out of here because they think yeah. oh she ain't gonna say nothing even exactly. if they know that yeah. you're capable of mm. they, they rely mm. on the fact that you're the type of person that don't normally say mm. nothing yeah. so I can just continue to be how it's like that saying yeah. they take your kindness for weakness, for weakness. Yeah. and I think it's so true because like you said I'll be that I'm that quiet person mm. really and I'll be smiling so people just will take advantage they'll yeah. keep pushing and pushing mm-hmm. and then the, my tolerance will get so much and that's it mm. I won't give you no warning no. Yeah. Uh, it will just flip Good like yeah. that and what star sign are you? Aries okay oh you like my yeah. son yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah uh, why, why are you laughing? I'm not like, <laughs> are you trying to remember <laughs> the moment? <laughs> I remember oh yeah the moment yeah that moment <laughs> Not so when I flipped and I yeah. We was talking about it last. We talking about it last night. <laughs> I li- yeah. My tolerance was good. We was, she's got a high. I've tolerance, got a high tolerance. Yeah. But when it's, I think this is where we're similar. Like we've both got very high tolerance, mm-hmm. but once it's gone, whoa, yeah, it's not Sleep a good people luck, alone. You know? exactly. To bring it back, it, yeah, yeah it's yeah. like it's hard. It's like it's best that you run. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> you, 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 you don't want this. Just yeah. so beg you, leave, leave me alone. <laughs> just leave me alone. I'm being really nice to yeah. you. I'm speaking nicely. Yeah, exactly. And you're there in my face, like, just, you're there in my, you're there again. You're there again. You're still there. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, then. Let me take out my earrings. Oh, oh, oh my God. Did you okay. see what she did? She reacted. <laughs> I had to be like, you don't want this. <laughs> yeah. I'll be, you know, I'll be the god for two seconds. You don't want this. Just walk out. I remember that time I didn't even take out no earrings. I, no. I was ready. It was, I was so calm. And then... It was calm and I... And then all of a sudden I just flipped. That was it. That was it. <laughs> yeah. And I think you said to me, you looked at me and said, Fiona, your eyes... So my eyes just it doesn't changed. happen. Yeah, it doesn't happen. It doesn't often. happen. It takes hard. a lot for you yeah. to flip. Yeah. But yeah, that moment, boy. I was like, you think about it. It's not, I don't think it'll be sensible to continue. With <laughs> Walk out. Walk out. I'm telling you, you don't want it. Bye. Walk out. <laughs> Go. Go. I'm giving you a warning. Go. <laughs> <laughs> the healing process. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. But I think going back to what you were saying not so long ago about like reasons of people being in your life, um, like to say that people come into your life for a reason, season, season lifetime, lifetime. Yeah. Yeah. and you figure out which one it is. Yeah. Do you know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. Or yeah. when somebody has, you might have thought that somebody's in your life for a lifetime, but then it's for a season. Yeah. Oh yeah. And then yeah. You, and then do you know what I mean? And then you re- and then you realize, oh, I learned this from that interaction, yeah. mm-hmm. or this is what I needed to experience for whatever reason. You know. Yeah. Mm. But I think you, you, that's something I think. I agree with you. You'll find that out later along your healing yeah. journey. That re- the reason yeah. why. Mm. Yeah. It's all good stuff out yeah. here, but ladies, it was so nice talking to you it's today. Nice. Yeah. That was quite nice and soothing. It's been lovely. Tell me, don't feel relaxed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 no. I'm all ready to Everyone's sleep out right here. And go and hug some trees. Anyway, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So you want your friends? Yeah. No more. I'm <laughs> done. <laughs> done. <laughs> No, yeah, I'm done. Don't, don't, don't call me again. You're done. That yeah, yeah. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. Delete number. Block. Block <laughs> and delete. Oh, it's a great face from this episode. Yeah. <laughs> 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 no, this has been a beautiful It's been lovely. It has, Thank it's been you. Nice. Yeah. It's been needed as well. Mm. I mean, we do talk a lot about relationships and stuff like that. So, the friendships. Yes. It's something that everybody goes through daily. So yeah. We must, we must come talk about <laughs> it. Yeah. People need to hear it, man. Mm. Give them a quote, lady. Something that you can give the viewers to go forward with for their, you know, their week or their day. Something that gets you through. Give them a little bit of a... Mm. One liner, two liner. Sorry for putting on the spot. <laughs> Recently, mm. I've been doing a lot of affirma- affirmations. Yeah. yeah. Starting with I am. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> so, Powerful words. I do a lot of that. Powerful yeah, words. So I am. I am beautiful. Mm-hmm. I am capable. I am worthy. Yeah. I am love and I am loved. Nice, I yeah. like it. Lovely, thank you. Most welcome. That was lovely, that. Mm. Liked it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm yeah, not just a pretty face. Me, yeah, shit, me, I shed a tear. <laughs> but, um, what can I say? I would say, um, remember who you are. Find out what your purpose is Mm -hmm. find out why you're here Mm -hmm. be comfortable be happy and keep loving yeah i like that too lovely oh i like that i like that i like that that. you see i want to get two blasts of (laughs) zoom out there yeah energy vibes you know take it on board take it forward and yes, give them your socials, guys, so they can find you and they can go add you up, they can watch you. Yes, so we are on the Instagram as Sisters Talk About. And it's stars, it's not stars. sisters. Yeah. Yeah. Stars. stars. Yes. Yeah. S-I-S-T-A-R-S. Yeah, S-I-S-T-A-R-S. Sisters Talk About podcast. That's on Instagram. YouTube. Mm-hmm. YouTube. <clears throat> 
um, we clubhouse but we haven't really used that nobody's yeah. using that that came away yeah, that, that had like, the season no, yeah. Yeah. that was a season yeah that was like a season yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's still done. have that up but it's, it's not it's just sitting there yeah <laughs> Um, we want to th- Black Nation. Yeah, Black Nation. Um, Black Nation dot live. Yeah, Black Nation dot live. Nice. That's it, really. So yeah, yeah. Mm. check them out, guys. So yeah, check us out. Check you us out. Check us out. Check us out. <laughs> and our and this won't be the last time you'll be seeing us together for sure. Yeah. yeah exactly. Listen, we're talking about friendships. This is a new, new friendship. friendship. Yeah. This is a new it really is. I feel it. I feel the energy. Yeah. In the world. yeah. yeah. We nah. get on too well for yeah, we just do. to end here. The energy so. right now in this room is fire, yeah. I'm not gonna lie. Fire, fire, fire. 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 the air conditioning, it's so hot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's so hot. <laughs> We said, we said turn down the heat and the man said the heat ain't oh, on it's the no, body heat it's just body heat 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 hey but yeah one last plug um, we will be having our because we do live events also every three months our next live event will be at the Karma Sanctum in Soho in London um, on the 14th of July so Ooh. yeah look out for basically the link for Eventbrite so you can go and register for tickets for tickets yeah, oh. yeah. Oh. We'll, we'll definitely try to be there so yeah, yeah. Right. it sounds good 14th of mm. July we'll put that yeah. in the diary definitely yeah. Yeah. definitely and it's a Friday night as well yeah so. oh Friday yeah. <laughs> Friday night it's a Friday oh yes yeah, we'll sort something out anyway positive positive yeah. <laughs> it's going to be a journey <laughs> we're going to get there it's going to be a journey you might have it's to do Friday. a half day at work together. yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we'll sort it out. It's we have to Friday. support our sisters, man. Yeah, it, we know what real. it's like, don't we? Oh, of course. Yeah. yeah. So it's doing this journey be has just been mad, hasn't it? And it has. doing our own live show last yeah. year. Mm. Um, yeah, we yeah, learned a lot. lot. So for sure, we'll try and support, man. Good luck at all. We're just loving the journey, man. We're loving. Mm. We're loving what mm. we're doing. Yeah. It's exciting, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. <clears throat> it is. I feel like we're enjoying it. Mm. Yeah. It's just something completely different, and it's mad that we find it in our forties. Yeah, yeah I know. I had the energy know. for it in my 30s. Yeah. <laughs> Could have done with it, doing it then. Exactly. Then you know what, what you find, though? Well, what I'm finding, what we're finding, like, because we're older, one, like, we're a lot more comfortable with ourselves. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. What we say is what we say, like we always say, but unapologetic. But unapologetic, yeah. that's Please our phrase. Please don't come back and ask me no questions after I said, said what yeah, I said. That I said, said. Yeah, exactly. and I said it with chest. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. You get me? So I might say something that might... Ruffle a few people. Yeah, that's it. Is what it is. is. What it is. But what you're saying, you're saying from experience as well. Yeah, yeah exactly. We've really done this in our twenties. Mm. We wouldn't have been talking people. from experience. Exactly. That kind of thing. We've lived a little bit more. Yeah. Now. yeah. And that's why we're finding this journey now. You know, because of that fact. Because yeah. we, we're in a different place, and now we can actually take our experience, put it into one bag, and actually give it to people. Yeah. And exactly. talk to people in different ways, like. Yeah. Mm. I know it's different audience, audiences and stuff like that, but there's there's something that in what we're doing. Yeah. There's a message. Yeah. There's a there message. Is. Do you there know is. what I mean? And there's love within that message, you know? Definitely. And that's what people are receiving. Yeah, that's true. Mm. That's true. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> I love it, man. I love it. I love it, man. See, we say love, not love. Love, yeah. it. love. So I do always love. say. She don't like that. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> yes, man. With that being said, guys, like, subscribe, yes, please. Comment, comment, all that good stuff. Mm-hmm. Got add up the sister them. Yes. And we're gonna see you next time. Next time. Thank episode. you for joining us, guys. Take care. Bye. Bye. Bye.